Hello, y'all. Welcome back to another Lazy Sports Talks with Schroeder. My name is, in fact, Brian Schroeder, and uh, welcome back. I uh, haven't talked to y'all for a little bit. I'm uh, back here. Today is August 28th, 2019. Currently around, like, you know, in the afternoon, whatever, just got home from school, and uh, I thought I'd come out with this little piece and bit about... Um, Lazy football because I really wanted to put a key, a key. I wanted to put my opinions out there before the before this season started. How it is, y'all are not going to agree with some of my opinions. That's student body, that's players, that's coaches. That's just about everybody. You might be wondering, well, why would you make a like? Why would you make an argument if you know people are going to bat you down? Well, you can't worry about that kind of stuff if you want to be in this kind of business. You can't worry about what other people think because at the end of the day, it's only a matter about what you think. What I have you listed today is every single other person's opinions on Lacey Christian Academy football. I have. Sports Day High School. I have TX Private School, whatever his name is, Twitter account. I have the 30 TX H, uh, whatever, whatever high school football. I I have the magazine if I can if I can find it real quick. I have all of them. They all say the same thing. They all don't give legacy enough credit. I'm gonna start off with my favorite article people by the way I have a subscription to Texas high school football so a little bit biased to how I think Texas high school football thinks but at the same time not really because well they don't it's kind of run a little bit different around there plus I might be starting an internship with them so I you know it's part of what I say sports day high school is the the Dallas newsletter whatever that you uh, that you see around people around whatever around Dallas they have a sports high school page. It's called Sports Day High School. And it goes over every single high school sport in the area. That includes Lazy Christian. If I were to take every single thing I'd known from Legacy Football and put it in one category, it still wouldn't come out to the knowledge of what this website has. Here's the thing you have to know, is that any team we play this year is always going to play their heart out because this is Texas high school football. No one just plays football to play football. Everyone plays football because they either care or if they didn't care going into it, they care now. That's how it works. That's how it's always been. You don't have to be in Texas long to know that's how it's run. I'm at Sports Day High School, the, the page, what I said, what I already described to you all, and I'm going to tell you right now. On what they on what they rank us in our taps or taps one division or division two taps one district so like so we're, di we're ta district two so we're district two basically district two taps one division so what it says is that we're actually in this little section the teams we play against are in our co in our district are Great Five Faith Fort Worth Christian for Southwest Christian and pop. Well, that's the thing. We already, I've already talked about Grapevine Faith. I've already talked about all the stuff involving their quarterback switch and Deuce Hogan and, well, what is Deuce Hogan going to do? Deuce Hogan plays us on a homecoming. Deuce Hogan this, Deuce Hogan that. I mean, it's, not, it's literally, it's not that serious. It's not. Texas High School, Dave Campbell's book, whatever, magazine, ranks TAPS, District Division 2, whatever, Division 2, District 1, whatever. Great Fine Faith Christian, number 1. Fort Worth Christian, number 2. Frisco Legacy Christian, number 3. Fort Worth Southwest Christian, number 4. Carrollton Prince of Peace, number 5. Do I agree with this list? You'll find that out later. Sports Day High School Dallas News reports Great Fine Faith, number one, with a 9-2 record. 
fourth, Christian, number two, with a nine and four record. Fort Worth Southwest, Christian, number three, with a three and seven record. Number four, Frisco Lacey, five and five record. Number five, Carrollton, Prince of Peace, six and four record. You might be losing your mind. How in the world do they have Fort Worth Southwest ahead of us, even though they're three and seven? Guys, you have to think about this. That means they've won two games in their district. That's what they think they're going to do. They think they're going to win two games in the district. So eventually they'll go two and two, and that's kind of what they think. But they do slate us at five and five. And for our schedule, I want to go game by game. I, I, I really do want to go game by game and list off whatever. But guys, I can't go off game by game because if I go off game by game, then what's going to happen to me when I get up to that game this year, and and there's a whole different lineup, and I already projected it to be this sort of win or loss. I'm going to pull up the whole schedule on my phone right now, and I'm going to go through every single every single game that's going to be going on this year for Texas, I mean, uh, uh, Lacey High School football. First game is Friday, which is August 30th. And they are playing Founders Classical Academy. If you don't know or don't remember Founders Classical from last year, you didn't really have to show up to know that we massacred them. It was really kind of just like, okay, like you heard about it like on Monday and we're like, okay, like do we really want to play this team? Like this team is garbage. Like, you know, is this, what, what, what are we doing? Well, Founders Classical, yeah, they're not great. But at the same time, it, our schedule our schedule gets harder. It's it, it we don't just play these corny teams in outside of district. It it's it's harder. It gets harder. It gets harder. We played Coram Dale last year. This year we get them at home, September sixth. Coram Dale is going to be coming to our side of town. That is the following Friday, seven days after um, this coming Friday, so a week from Friday. We play Coram Dale. Coram Dale. If you don't remember from last year, Coram Dale, we uh, gosh dang, I can't remember. Uh, I think Cormdale was the game. Cormdale was the game. I went to all, I went to a couple of games, but Cormdale was the game at uh, Trinity Christian Academy, I believe. Um, or yeah, Trinity, uh, Trinity, uh, Trinity not, yeah, Trinity Christian Addison. Um, and uh, wow, that that game was it got it got rained out. I mean, it got it was it was raining and it was awful. We started in the middle of the night, like middle, like toward like the end and. Guys had to take the ACT the next morning, SAT, all this kind of stuff, and it just—it was a whole mess and rain. Like, what? How what were we supposed to do? Don't sleep on legacy when it comes to Coram Dale. Coram Dale kids are definitely gonna sleep on legacy because they think they're that they think that we're gonna be a walk in the park, <laughs> like because we they beat us last year. And to be honest, that's kind of how we're treating Willow Park. But I mean, that's kind of how we're treating uh, uh, Founders Classical. But now the next game is Trinity Christian. I uh, think this is Willow Park. I, I believe. I believe this is Trinity Christian Willow Park. And uh, this game was actually in Alito last year. I took that drive down there. Don't ask me why I did that. That was a really long drive in the rain and whatever. Not smart. Anyways, like I, like again, we get three home games in a row. So they will be coming to our side of town once again the week after that. So two weeks from Friday, they'll be coming to our side of town. And, yeah, I mean, we lost there, too. But it's like another rainy night, another bad time for football, another really far drive. No, nah, nah, not the first one was a far drive, but this one was a far drive. It, we scored 21 points. We, we lost 21-35. I, I remember that game like, like, like no other. That, that was the game I basically memorized in my head. I have that night. I have the whole night remembered. I mean, it's like. Like I I know that night, but it's just it, it was it was an experience playing on a stadium that neither of the teams seemed to know very well. I mean it was very weird. We were playing in Alito, which was the if y'all don't know it was Alito Middle School field. So it wasn't even the Alito High School field. The teams that won the state championship it was a middle school field that Trinity Christian Willow Park had to play their game at. Is what like what why West Fort Worth long drive. I don't blame us on that one. Next one, at John Paul. We didn't play John Paul this year, this past year. Uh, and that's for one reason and one reason only. Um, we would have, but it got... So we moved the game to Thursday. 
because of uh, lightning, rain out, whatever. And I sat there and waited for this whole game to happen. We had to be free. It was going to come and record it and film it. And he took off Thursday, and he was like, all right, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to film. And he be free was there. Game got canceled. We waited the whole time. Game got canceled. No game. Next night happens, Friday night. Same football game. Ready to go. Here we go. Football game Friday night. Ready to go. And, uh, well, no football game. It rained out again. Nothing nothing to do. Couldn't figure it out. John Paul ends up not playing us. If you're free nervous, going to come back to us, see us again. That was the end of that. Not good times. But this time we get to go back to John Paul. So this past year, they were going to come to us. My sophomore year, we went to them. And that was the first time we played them. That was the first. That was their first win. And, you know what? Let's not talk about that. Um, so, yeah. We're going to play John Paul again. I'm excited. I'm really excited to see it. Be fun. Don't know what to expect from them. Um, but let's see. Covenant Christian. We had Covenant Christian at home this past year. We ended up beating Covenant Christian, I believe. It's good. It was a good win. I don't remember a lot about the game. I just remember I went to it. It was a uh, really. It was a. Uh, it was a home first. It was one of the home games in a while that I was going to go to because we, we we I went. I just traveled to Lido two weeks before that. John Paul game got rained out. I was ready for this home game to happen. I was tired of traveling because the because the other tra the other home game we had the last home game I had was Founder Classical. I was like I need another home game. First home game after all that stretch. Got covered at Christian, we destroyed Covered at Christian. I mean, I don't think we destroyed. We uh, we played Covered at Christian, we ended up beating them. I don't remember the final score, so I'm not gonna talk anymore about it. I missed this game last year. So the boys from Shelton during the Covered at Christian game came over and started to watch us play, and they wanted to like little Shelton uh, uh, letterman jackets and stuff. They showed up, you know, trying to act all cocky and stuff, and so they showed up at our game. And they're looking out on the field, seeing what we're all about. And, well, we're, they're like, oh, they're pretty getting cocky. They're getting pretty cocky about it. You know, stuff's going down. And um, we're like, yo, we need a videographer there. So we got Jay Litt to come. And Jay Litt came and recorded that game. That was lit. And uh, to be honest, I think I think Shelton this year, It's it's we beat them last year. I, I think we could do it again this year. Like, honest opinion, I think we could be cover, I mean, we could beat Shelton again. Guys, I hope you realize this is what I'm saying. Founders Classical, that's 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 my one win I got right there. Coram Deo, I'm saying we come back for that one. That one was not even that what we did last year did not reflect who we were. It was tired, rain delay, whatever. Trinity Christian Willow Park, that's gonna be a tough game. I, I'm already gonna call it out. That's gonna be a tough game. I, I'm gonna call it out right now. And uh, even though they're a Division three team, they're still good. So I'm I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a loss there. So two and one. John Paul, I'm gonna go up and say a win. I'm saying win to John Paul. I I really do feel it. Even though they're the division division one, we need that revenge from freaking sophomore year. I I really do believe it. My sophomore year. So, John Paul, that's 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 gonna be a dub. So three and one, Covenant Christian four and one. Don't even question it. That's gonna be a way game. I don't question it. Covenant Christian four one. I, I I'm going to Shelton five and one. Going five and one in the district. I feel it. I feel we go 5-1 into the district. Then we get hit by Great Fun Faith homecoming night. And uh, I am not going to talk about homecoming games and all the district games. You'll have to find out more about that. I'm just going to do non-district for now. But then we got Great Fun Faith South at Southwest. Fort Worth comes home to us the 25th of August, uh, October. And then Star Game November 9th after a week break in between. Am I excited for this year? You betcha. Do I think we're going to win some ball games this year? I think we're going to go 5-1 and one outside of district. We could go 6-0 and oh, easily. 5-1, and one, though, is what I'm going to guess. We could go 6-0 oh outside of district. Going, to, going into district 5-1, and 6-0, oh, I feel it. We could do it. Taps D2 rankings preseason by T TX, private school football guy. He ranks the T Taps 2 District 2 rankings. This is all District 2, including the number one. If you don't know who the number one team in District 2 Taps ranking is, then I'm pretty sure you just don't follow Taps District football at all. Like, you just don't follow Taps football because Trinity Christian Cedar Hill is number one. No surprise there. Guys, let's be honest here. If it wasn't ta if it wasn't Trinity Christian Cedar Hill, I'm pretty sure we couldn't call this a reliable list. So there we go. Number two, this is where it gets tricky. This is where they say Deuce Hogan. Number two, Deuce Hogan, Great Five Faith. 
Jackson Wagner. Do I believe them? Should I? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say about that. Number three is Austin Regents. Don't really know about them. We don't really play them. I think this is Austin P. whatever is, no, that one is. I don't remember that one. Number four. Number five. Another one that goes into our little district area. Instead of Division Two, it's dis it's on our district again. It's Fort Worth Christian, number five. When y'all hear my podcast about the district and what I think about I do for district, you will be ready for it. That's what I'll say. That's what I'll say. That's what I'll say. Number six, Dallas Christian. As y'all remember, Dallas Christian is the team we lost to in the playoffs last year. Don't even worry about it. To be honest, that game was just another good game to play. Dallas Christian has lost a lot of talent this past year. I already know enough about Dallas Christian to know that Dallas Christian will not be the same team as they were before. Dallas Christian has the rightful place at six. And to be honest, I can move them below us. And if we face them again in the playoffs this year, oh, mighty goodness gracious, I think we can beat them easily. Easily. Dallas Christian not the same team they were last year. No doubt about it. Don't know what that team is in seventh. It's like uh, you think it's a University of Houston Christian thing, uh, or Houston Christian, something like that. I don't know, uh, not University. What I said, it was Houston Christian. Sorry, I was reading H C and I thought I saw you. H C. No, um, San Antonio team in there a little bit for number eight spot, number nine spot. Uh, I don't, I don't really, And then I think I see a Tyler team is number ten, Tyler Grace or something like that. Number nine team, something else. Uh, let me let me actually get the full names of these teams on the on the end. I, I they, they have them all tagged. I just forgot to look at that before I looked at this whole entire list. Sorry, y'all. Sometimes I have to look at that. Anyways, what I'm trying to say real quick is all of this. I went through the whole ranking schedule. I went through the whole. I went through all of our our games this year. I gave you what my first six are gonna be. In our first six games, we have a total of five home. Oh, that's bad math. Four home games, two away games. Guys, we're driving to Plano for John Paul. Coming to Christians on a Saturday at 11 a.m. Like, come on. Oh, by the way, if you're going to that, I will not be going to that cover Christian game Saturday at 11 a.m. I'm going to be gone, but yeah. Uh, I, I hope that's the best for that one. Anyways, uh, I guess if you're wondering those eight and nine teams are, it's Houston, Lutheran, South, and ninth is Fort Bend, Christian. Oh, I just got kicked out of it. No, 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 that's just Christian. Overall, only to say this, I do predict that we will do well. I do predict our going into playoffs, we will be going, I mean, going into district, we'll be going 5-1, and one, possibly 6-0, and no, no less than 5-1. and one. Um, And I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. If y'all want me to do a JV recap, let me know. I don't know enough about JV to really do enough, but I will be trying to go to this first game on Thursday if I can. If I can't make it, I'm so sorry. I want to do hype videos this year, so let me know if you want a hype video for yourself. I can do personalized hype videos. If you, uh, I'm going to be doing a couple sample copies for the beginning of this, and then by a certain time, if they're good enough or whatever, I'll uh, I'll open it up to sale. So um, we'll see how that goes. If they're uh, Need a couple of sample ones, so please let me know if you want one your personal self. You'll get those for free if you're one of the first people. Um, and if you watch theirs and you think theirs are good, then let me know. I'd be glad to sell you uh, one. And if you're not satisfied, we'll figure out a couple things with that later. But all to say, please let me know uh, anything you want done for Lazy Football. If you want to be a special podcast, if you want anything like this or that, let me know. I know a bunch of guys are talking about it. This has been down to the wire last second little podcast before our game Friday night today is Wednesday so hopefully we'll get a couple chatter at school tomorrow about this little podcast and uh, hopefully by Friday we'll have a game so thank y'all for listening in today my name is Ryan Schurter this has been Lacey Sports Talk Schurter I hope to see y'all in the next podcast thank y'all and uh, goodbye y'all